cook with naturally Jody. Take checking out the local nurseries and greenhouses today to see what there is to be able to plant in your yard, especially when you're planning a new landscape. It's a great way to get some ideas on colors, sizes, shapes, and everything for your new landscape and your new yard. Um, not known, most people think it's a salvia, but it's actually a cat mint. Cat mint is where catnip comes from, depending on variety. Great bloom. They can be a very mounded or an upright plant perennial for the garden. Long bloom time um, and have a little bit of fragrance, but nothing that will, until you touch it, um, will it uh, show up and be a, 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 a romantic, uh, aromatic <laughs> flavor. But a great plant, very, very hardy for even tough conditions. The wonderful fun Ameria. Ameria is also known as sea thrift, kind of because it looks like coral clumps of anemones. Great rock garden plant with fabulous color and multiple blooms. Can be used as cut flowers, they don't last as long in some arrangements, but they have a wonderful um, accent in many rock gardens or hard to places. Behind it, you see, is the geum. Geum is um, another older fashioned plant that has been hardy to many of the northern areas. A wonderful, kind of a cosmos like flower on the stems with a nice foliage contrasting against some of your spikier uh, plant materials. A great accent for, again, kind of those hard rock gardens or dry areas, it's very good in.